once a friend of mine asked me how do I train uh, for climbing cracks and how do I train climbing in general. One thing for the record, I don't think you can actually train your mental stuff without doing any outdoors, you need to do a lot of it. But there certainly comes a time when you need to do some pure physical workout otherwise you won't get anywhere. So here's what I do. For this particular month I prepared a, a card like this which says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I decided to start uh, on a Monday morning with a swimming pool because usually I go away on the weekends. Uh, so I wanted to have a nice and easy start of the week. Uh, and that's more or less like 800 meters freestyle on a 200 meters rest. Uh, then I go with uh, 800 meters uh, broken 50-50. Uh, the first 50 is butterfly, the second 50 is freestyle. And then another 2 minutes rest followed by 800 meters of backstroke. And at the end of the swimming pool I just do 4 uh, lengths of uh, underwater swim. And basically that's all. On a Tuesday I do 6.5 km run. That's not much but given the fact that I have some kind of like old uh, knee injury uh, combined with the fact that I already had like uh, 2 ACL surgeries on it. Uh, I cannot run any more than that so it's nothing particular. On a Wednesday that's the hard day where I go to the gym and basically do some uh, workout for the lower uh, body parts. Basically your buttocks and everything uh, below your waist hurts after that. I just follow that up with uh, Thursday which is a swimming pool again that allows me to recover a bit. And it's basically the same uh, regime as on the Monday. And on the Friday I do another run, which is the same regime as on the Tuesday. Saturday is my core day, because in climbing you actually need a lot of core, that's what I learned. And because I do mostly off with climbing, uh, you need a lot and a lot of a core on that. So my session is like pure core workouts with uh, with a big ball uh, and with a trick board. I just warm up with some uh, push-ups on a trick board. That's like uh, 15 minutes. Then I follow up with uh, with another trick board core exercise that you can see. I always wanted to do a handstand, so I. I am trying uh, to do uh, something on, on this as well. And then another few exercises on the bar and with the ball. And after 45 minutes I am just like done. And because I actually do all of this for climbing and you would say like uh, for 6 days nothing that resembles climbing. So on the Sunday I actually go to the climbing wall and try to do some crack climbing with uh, whatever I have uh, available on my local climbing wall. Crack over there is mostly hands and some fists. I try to do as much as I can on that. I'm starting off uh, this week with trying to force myself to do thin hands and probably something between a hand and a fist. Kind of like I've already met a few roots that were just Kind of like out of my reach. I just need to force myself to start doing that. Uh, and in order to complete that exercise, I just put uh, some foam into the crack, covering the good holds, so that I am forced to use the worse holds. Uh, and basically, that concludes week one. And you follow that up with a week 2 and 3, and week 2 is plus 10% to everything. Either the mileage or the weight or whatever. Week 3 is plus 20% to the first week. If I can get hold of that, then I have another week of rest, which concludes like a month of training. Do the whole thing in the, the big cycle, in loops before you realize it's already spring and you can go climbing outdoors <laughs> which is kind of like what you are hoping for so 
I'm just wondering how are you training and if you want to drop me a note or just leave some comments I would be grateful. Yeah, hope I can meet you sometime outdoors because that's what we do. We climb outdoors.